Dan is back home in the United States this morning. The solemn ceremony was held overnight. The vice president was there. Lisa Washington joins us now live with the latest. Lisa. Good morning, Rick. The Air Force calls this a dignified transfer. That's when the remains of those airmen who were killed in Afghanistan earlier this week were brought back to Dover Air Force Base. It happened overnight. As you said, the vice president was there. Staff Sergeant Dylan Elchin was from Western Pennsylvania. He was brought back overnight along with the remains of another airman who was killed in Afghanistan when a roadside bomb exploded. Elch's mother, Duana Dua, spoke with KDKA saying she was concerned for her son when she learned that he was being sent to Afghanistan. Dua says that she last spoke with her son on Thanksgiving Day via FaceTime. Dylan Elchin attended Hopewell High School. He was from Hookstown, Pennsylvania. During his military career, Elton received both a Purple Heart and a Bronze Medal. He was assigned to the Cannon Air Force Base in New Mexico as part of the 26th Special Tactics Squadron. Elton's mother says that her son told her he was going on a week-long patrol in Afghanistan. She says she didn't ask him any details of that assignment. A funeral for Dylan Elton will be held in Beaver County before he is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. We're reporting live this morning. I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA TV Morning News.